so here I am on uh, a little um, piazza uh, near the uh, best show really that that is the um, Vittorio it's the uh, monument to Victor Emmanuel II up there they keep on the steps a big shrine sort of about where is it it's underneath there so it's about there at the base of that statue and they always have armed guards there um, it's a uh, their version of the tomb of the unknown uh, warrior basically They've got um, a little altar with fires burning on either side, which is rather nice. Uh, you can't visit the colonnade there, but you can visit the very top. You can visit the, the terrace at the top. So I was up there earlier on, like yesterday. There's obviously museums inside it and stuff as well. So anyway, I'm here because I um, want to visit the Imperial Forum. I didn't realise you could actually get to it. I thought it was just sort of on display in these little boxes around here. I'll show you. There we are. That's Trajan's Column and this sort of forum there. And I just thought that you just looked over the edge and took pictures, but you can actually get to it via Magnapoli which is a <laughs> big roundabout basically uh, and it's through there and the the buildings on that side um, are a museum and I think that's how you get to it uh, it doesn't open for another quarter of an hour so I'm sort of waiting here until then I had wanted to visit some of these churches here but it is only about sort of well uh, quarter to nine maybe something like that and none of these churches seem to be open. Um, they're not on the, despite their big, big appearance and their closeness um, to the uh, Vittorio, they don't seem to really have names or be on maps as places to visit. So uh, you may find that some of them are just shut. You know, at least eight out of ten churches in this city seem to be open all the time but I'm not sure what time they start opening and it could could well be nine rather than sort of eight in which case I'm a little bit early so this is day three of Rome and um, I am uh, supposed to be going to the Vatican today that's why I wanted to get here and do this as quickly as possible, basically. Um, although, like I said the, yesterday, I don't know how much of the actual Vatican museums I'm going to do. Uh, it has to be said. I'm just not really a museum person. I'd much rather see the Basilica. And that's why I'm starting at uh, Castel San Angelo. I'm not actually starting with St Peter's, so I should reach St Peter's just after lunch. So I'm now overlooking the Imperial Forum, which is sort of basically all along there, and ending at Trajan's Column over there. Do you know, I don't think you can get actually get down to it at all, but I have come across a number of birdies very large seagulls, which I think I'm going to uh, frighten now. Um, day three was dedicated to uh, the Vatican City. But before I got to the Vatican City, I wanted to finish the Roman area by doing uh, the Makati Tranami, which is the, the Roman baths above the Imperial Forum. You cannot get to the Imperial Forum, okay? 
it's basically a, a set of squares where you walk, you can walk around the top of them and overlook all the little forums, but you can't actually get to them. And I thought the only possible way you might be able to get to them was through this, this bath complex, which had been converted into the Museum of the Imperial Forum. And that was a waste of time. Um, largely, they are still excavating things there, so it's all, a lot of it's shut anyway. Uh, you had to pay to get in, it wasn't value for money. Um, what a load of rubbish, basically. Uh, that was probably the worst the worst point of the, the trip. If I had to skip visiting anything, it would be that Imperial Forum Museum, because you can't get to the Imperial Forum uh, from it, and you can't really get to see much of the baths, and the, uh, the museum is, is rubbish. <laughs> anyway.